Yo, what's good? Let's check out the new episode for 86. Logo review. If you want to talk about anime and manga, follow me on Twitch and Twitter at Joe Freshest. Links in the description below. And the YouTuber things, like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. And if you want to check out any of my other reactions for 86, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to the playlist with all of those reactions. And as always, Links in the description. Though I don't just do reactions for 86, if you want to check out any of the other series that I've done reactions for, just come to the channel, check out the playlists, and I'm sure you'll find one that you'll enjoy. The previous episode of 86 was about the leftovers of Spearhead and their journey to find this new life in this new land. They are going further from San Magnolia to reach some area where there are no robots. That's pretty much their goal is to go to a place where there are no robots. And once they get there, hopefully their life is a little bit better. It's going to be better than whatever their life is right now because they've literally been captive for like years. So no matter what, I think that's going to be an improvement. But I think that at some point they're going to want to come back, right? I feel like Shin has uh, a connection to Lena that he's going to want to come back to, to do something about. Especially since he knows that all of San Magnolia will be wiped out eventually. They, they just will. There's no shot that they will have an, a, a chance to just defeat the, uh, the, the like never ending army of robots. It's just not going to happen. But last episode was a lot about the bonds and everything. But the, I think the main takeaway, it was a lot about Fido, the dog, not really dog but the, the robot dog uh, creature and I think that it has some sort of connection well obviously it has some sort of connection to Shin it is Shin's oldest friend he met on the battlefield like forever ago and Fido has been with Shin since then I think there might be some deeper connection though because even though it was something that I didn't really notice something that I was told by commenters that I should have noticed and that is the fact that Fido recognized Shin from before that time. And so I think that Fido's AI or whatever have you has been around longer and has an even deeper connection to Shin than we even realize. I'm questioning what that connection is, how it all uh, came about, etc. Uh, and I'm sure that's something we're going to get in this episode because at the end of last episode, we saw Fido in front of this fire as though to say that like all hell breaks loose during this episode. Like for the most part, everything was happening over the span of like two, three days. And then 15 days later, that's when we see Fido with the fire and then this missile drops, blows him up. Now we're going to figure out what happened during that 15 day span of time and see how it got to be so bad. So without further ado, let's go check out the next episode. Oh, this is the 30th. Yep, this is the day. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh no, that's a lot of the big ones. No shot. Wait, why are they all smoking? Fido. Oh, that's when Fido was next to it. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. Are all of their mechs destroyed? Like, what the fuck? Oh, now he's gonna try and fix Fido. Oh, okay, so... It seemed like... Everything went to shit in that last one. That was a, that was a good cliffhanger. Because it looked like Fido was witnessing everyone dying. And that's what we were seeing here. But in reality, it looks like Fido... Took the brunt of some sort of force... To save Shin... And as a result, he is in bad shape and, and may not be fixable. Um, that's what actually happened. But everyone's still alive. All the five Spearhead members are alive, which is good. Aww. Damn, y'all just out here littering like that? I can't believe y'all. That's recyclable. He can sense the rain? Oh my god, dude. Magic. This rain is loud as shit, bro. Oh my god. Hmm? Oh. <gasps> A city. 
Is this like a rundown city or? Yeah. Damn, are all the cities in this place run down? Oh, a horse. Get that motherfucker. A barbershop. Imperial City First Elementary School. What the fuck? So this is a school? That's crazy. Sleeping in school. Reminds me of my youth. <laughs> I don't get it, but okay. Damn, y'all here ripping up books and shit? <laughs> True. True. I, I I get that. If you can't read the books, what what use are they? Monica's workbook? Don't do it to Monica's workbook. Is there beautiful art in it? Yeah, you gotta save Monica's workbook. Oh, there's a candy in it. Oh, never mind. I thought it was a candy in the book. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> candy time. Everybody take a piece. Everybody nibble it. Damn, she really just took the last one all to herself. Right into the fire. Bang. Mm, graduated in a single day. That's cute. They all KO, except for Shin. Oh, and her, I guess. He lied, bro. He knows they're coming. He's got to fight them. Don't fall down the cliff now. Come on, dude. I knew it. I knew it, dude. Well, that's exactly what he's doing, so I guess he can, huh? He just disconnected. Oh! Shit! That was kind of cool. Fucking jump scare me. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yo, my man needs to steal their fucking, um, fuel. Can he? Is that even possible? Siphon their fuel? They're backing out. Dude, your guns ain't gonna do shit, bro. Who is this one? He still has his head.
Yo, my guy, you got to get out of there. Maybe Lena's going to come in and save the day? What the fuck are these? Did he die? I hope he just passed out. What the fuck is happening right now, bro? I really hope that they're all just like passed out. Oh, Ni Chan. Okay, so this is. Yeah, I told you Lena's gonna save the day, bro. Look at this shit. Maybe it's her punishment to be here? I don't know. Fucking fake ass Fido. You ain't the real Fido. So, like, what, just after they left, she went over? Oh, what the fuck? He just dyes his hair? He lied. He lied. Oh, what about the cat? Aren't they going to see the cat? The kitty? I don't think they brought the cat with them. Kitty! <gasps> That's the book. It's going to be a love letter, Lena. I'm sorry that I had to leave you. But I love you. Oh, shit. You. Damn, it's kind of hurtful. It's the picture with everybody. Oh, she got to finally see them all. Oh, my God. What's the name you're going to give it? Damn, dude. Is that the end end? Oh, there's a little bit after. There's a little bit after. Or not? What's going on here? Oh, is Shin now a Legion soldier?
So is the second half. Oh, shit, yes. So the second half is going to be like Shin's mission. Shin's mission was to defeat his brother, right? Or like the, the 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 Legion robot that was his brother. This second the second half is going to be Lena's mission to defeat the robot that is now Shin, right? And defeat the Legion as in as in like an entire whole. It's pretty emotional. Got me a little sad, not going to lie. So, let's recap the episode. This episode starts off with uh, um, a little bit of background on what we saw at the end of the previous episode with Fido, right? So Fido did end up getting destroyed, incapable of moving now, he, he's, he, he was left behind. And, oh shit, you know what? I bet in the second half, Lena's gonna find Fido, fix him up, bet. But what we saw was that basically four out of the five mechs were destroyed. So it was only one left, Grave Keeper, what is it, Grave Digger? What is it? Um, graveyard. No. What are they called? Gravekeeper. That doesn't sound right. Undertaker. There we go. So only Undertaker was left, which is uh, Shin's ship or his mech, whatever. That and then one of the carry, the, the, like the, the carrying bots. They basically hooked it up with like a towing system. They kept whatever boxes and stuff they had left over, put it inside there. They all rode along and they went off to continue their journey. And eventually get they get to a point where Shin's like, oh, let me take over and uh, I'm, I'm getting bored back here. Shin takes over and blocks the path. He goes off on his own to go and deal with everything. What's crazy now is, so basically Shin gets into a fight and he goes down, the rest, the, the rest of the members, the other four members of Spearhead, they also go in to that fight to help him. They go down. So that's five people with heads not destroyed. That means five shepherds in the Legion army, which is going to get pretty crazy because now there's these five shepherds that will be doing like maybe Shin will end up like in the second half. Shin will be part of the force that defeats the Legion army because he somehow will recall who he once was. I'm not entirely sure, but that's definitely something I can imagine happening. So I'm thinking that's what's going to happen in the second half is that Lena is going to go to find them. And in the process, she will find Fido, fix Fido up. So she will get Fido and they will become friends. She'll see all of these records, all, all that recording that Fido had. She'll see all of that. I'm sure that's gonna be emotional. Eventually she is going to realize that at some point, all of their ships were destroyed and she's gonna eventually find the, the bodies, I would think. I don't know, she's, she'll find out all the stuff and she'll have to take on Legion on her own. Maybe all that craziness that she's been dealing with Maybe it's made her crazy. She'll be able to hear. I don't I don't know exactly how it works, but maybe. I think she's going to end up having to take on Legion and with the help of Spearhead's former members uh, who are now going to be shepherds, I think they're going to help her to defeat Legion as a whole. She's going to free Shin as well as the other members of Legion. Uh, sorry, of, of the, the, the previous Spearhead iteration. Free them from being part of Legion, and that's going to be the entire series. I, I think that saving the day is what she'll do, and hopefully by the end of it all, you know, because I think she's going to run into Undertaker's box with all of the name tags. She will use those name tags to commemorate the lives of all of these people who died in 86 and hopefully change the way that non-Alba are perceived in San Magnolia. I'm assuming that that's the end game of the entire series. That's like a, I don't want to say a happy ending, but that is a favorable resolution. So that's my guess. This series has been really great so far. It's a solid eight, maybe even a nine. It's just been really good. I can't wait to see the second season. Whenever that comes out, I think it's supposed to be 2022. Yeah, it's just a really good series. Maybe I should do like a review on this at some point in time. I, I really did enjoy it. There are so many little details and, and things that really helped build this world of 86 that I think are very notable and gave this this story a lot of personality or gave it a lot of it, it made it unique. So 
From here, leave a comment down below what you thought of the final episode of this first part of 86. I'm hearing from many people that there will be a second part in 2022, which I'm excited for. Are you excited for that? Leave a comment down below about that, as well as the ending here and what you think maybe going forward. Though, if you know what's gonna happen because you've read the light novels, please don't put any spoilers in the comments. What you should do is use a spoiler tag. And what I mean by that is in a very brief sentence, quote, what you'll be talking about. Very, very brief, very small sentence. And make sure there's no spoilers in that sentence. Skip one line, type the word spoilers, skip six lines, type out your spoiler comment. What everyone's gonna see is the quote so they know what your spoilers are about. They'll see the word spoilers, and then they'll see this little thing that says read more. And they can click on read more to see your spoilers or not click on it and not get spoiled. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. I do anime episode reactions as well as manhwa reactions and reviews on anime and manga when I catch up to or finish a series that I really enjoy. So if that sounds like the type of content that you might be interested in, then please do subscribe to the channel. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.